Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. So in today's video we are starting off by doing some home decor shopping and then I'll be heading back home and doing decorating and a little bit of cleaning. So I hope that you enjoy today's video. So I'm starting off shopping at Hobby Lobby, one of my favorite stores. I like to come in here at least once a month and just see what's new, check out the clearance aisle, and everything in this store does go 50% off at one point or another. It's usually rotated about every Every other week so this week all of the table decor was 50% off and then next week probably all the wall decor will be 50% off so basically the rule of thumb is to never buy anything at Hobby Lobby unless it's on sale they usually don't have any baskets that are my style but they had a lot of really cute new baskets in there today that I loved they had some new kitchen decor over here but this was all wall decor so none of it was on sale so I didn't get any of it today if I saw something I liked I would just take a picture or write it down try to remember and then come back and get it when it's on sale I'm also going to be doing another giveaway in this video I'm giving away a $50 Hobby Lobby gift card to one of you so to enter to win this giveaway all you have to do is like this video be sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and then just leave a comment down below this video your comment will be your entry into the giveaway and I'll be picking a random winner from the comments on the day that the giveaway Way ends. I purchased that $50 Hobby Lobby gift card while it was shopping here today and I'm so excited to be able to give it away to one of you so that one of you can go to Hobby Lobby and buy something for your home on me. Right now everything from the spring shop is currently 66% off but I'm waiting for it to go 75% off because I know it's going to happen really soon because they're bringing out all of the Christmas items. They're trying to fill all of these aisles back here with everything Christmas and fall so they're going to want all of these spring items gone so keep an eye out. They are going to start going 75% off then they'll go 80 and even higher but once they go 75% off everything does usually usually go pretty quickly. They have a lot of cute rugs left. I've shown these before, but now they're 66% off instead of 40% off. So go and get some if you want some. They also have a lot of planters and these glass jars organization items for the kitchen. Like I said, there is a lot of fall items coming out. I am not ready to think about decorating for fall yet, but once we get to that point, I will do a fall decorate and shop with me. After Hobby Lobby, I went over to at home. I was looking through the outdoor section and the kitchen section, looking for a few more items for my kitchen. At home is basically a giant store full of everything that you could possibly need for your home. It can be a little bit overwhelming. It's almost just like a warehouse of home decor, but they do have a lot of options, especially over here in the kitchen section.
They do have quite a bit of furniture at, at home, but some of these pieces like the coffee tables, the side tables, the nightstands, different things like that, a lot of times it seems like they are damaged. I'm not sure if that's just our at home. And then the other pieces seem like they may be a little bit overpriced for the quality, but they do have some good pieces of furniture in here if you look around. Now I'm back home and before I show you everything that I got and we decorate first I am going to scan all of my receipts onto the Fetch Rewards app. This is something that I've been doing for a really long time and Fetch Rewards is actually sponsoring today's video which is really awesome because this is something that I do every time I get home from shopping. So if you haven't heard of this before, Fetch Rewards is a super easy to use free app where you earn free rewards on literally anything that you buy. So here I'm scanning my receipts from Lowe's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, just to name a few. I've got quite a few of them here. So you can scan any receipt or e-receipt and then you will earn points no matter where you shop or what you buy and then you can redeem those points for hundreds of rewards. I've got quite a few rewards saved up in my app and I'm going to get a gift card here soon either to like Amazon, Starbucks, Home Goods. They've got so many options in there for you to pick from. So like I said, I've been using this app for over a year. My sister in law got me started on it and now I've got my mom started on it. It's just so awesome. It's free. It's quick and easy and you get all of these free rewards. So if you want to try it out, I will have a link down below in the description box. You can use the code Hannah and then you'll get 3000 points when you scan your first receipt. And that is a limited time offer for my viewers. So be sure you take advantage of that. And a big thank you again to Fetch Rewards for sponsoring this video. I'm going to show you everything I got on my shopping trip today starting with the items from Hobby Lobby. These first couple items were from the spring shop so I got them for 66% off. I also grabbed a blanket ladder to try in the living room. Next is the items I got from at home. I got some greenery to try, some new salt and pepper shakers, some scrubbers for the kitchen, and then I also got this large wooden tray. I have the smaller wooden tray like this in my kitchen and I saw that they have a larger one now and so I wanted to get that and try it out in the kitchen so we're going to decorate with that here in a little bit I also got a large picture frame to put a family picture in and then my last stop was Walmart and I got a curtain rod and some curtain clips for the master bedroom So I had that smaller tray from at home here beside the stove, but I couldn't fit very much on it. They didn't have a larger one at the time, so I just got the smaller one. But like I said, they now have a larger one, so I got that and now I'm able to fit all of these items here beside my stove on the tray. This is what I originally wanted to do to be able to have everything on the tray. I also got my new salt and pepper shakers on there and these oil glass jars. I got these from Marshalls. They were a really good price. They might still have them there. I did get them a few months ago though, probably about two or three months ago, but you might still be able to find them. I've got vegetable oil in one and then olive oil in the other one and this cute little glass jar that I'm putting salt in. I got this from Marshalls. The spoon rest is from Target, and then the utensils canister is from at home. I love how this turned out over here. Before, it felt like there was something missing, but now it feels complete.
so Jalen actually made this wooden cookbook holder right here I was having a hard time finding a cookbook holder that was the right size so he offered to just make me one which was really sweet of him and it turned out so awesome it's just the perfect size for these large cookbooks and then this wooden recipe box right here my mom gave me this for Christmas and inside there's handwritten recipe cards from her my grandma's my aunt's so that's really special to have now I am going to clean this stove using my Cerama bright stovetop cleaner kit I just put that on the top of the stove I spread it around with the little sponge that comes with it and then just let it set there for a little while while I cleaned the rest of the stove and the vent hood and all of that I put that smaller wooden tray over here by the sink to put my soap bottles on and it was just the perfect size for both of these bottles. And then I just continued on wiping the countertop behind of the decor. I also washed those hot pads that I got from Hobby Lobby. Going to do a little vacuuming and then get started redecorating the shelves. I wanted to just switch out a few things on these shelves, get them dusted off. I had had this little evergreen tree up on the top shelf since Christmas time, so I really needed to switch that out, and I just switched it out with this cactus here that I already had on hand. I moved some things from the bottom shelf up to the top shelf. I took that white dish that I had on the top shelf, and I put it down here on the countertop here at the bar area to keep fruit and granola bars in because this is where we always eat breakfast. So it's just nice to have those items right here. These cute glasses from Hobby Lobby were the perfect addition to the bottom shelf. These are great for styling shelves and would also be perfect for like a little dinner on the back porch. I got some more fruit and granola bars added to that bowl and then here is how the shelves turned out. I just love how they look, just a little bit of something different. I only switched up a few things, but it just made enough of a difference that it's just nice to have a little bit of a change here in the kitchen. I like having the greenery hanging down on the side of the shelf over there. And then here I'm just giving you an overview of the kitchen countertops. We just love how they turned out. We like to keep it very minimal on the countertops. That's just how I've always been in all of my kitchens. I prefer no clutter on the countertops if I have the cabinet cabinet space, then I would rather keep things in the cabinet and the pantry and just have the countertops minimal. So 
since we lost our big shade tree outside the master bedroom here, we get a lot of bright sun in here during the day, so we decided to go ahead and hang up some blackout curtains. I was planning to hang up some anyway before the baby came just to help to make it a little bit darker in here since the baby is going to be sleeping in our room. So I got those curtain rods and curtain clips from Walmart to hang up in here. These are the same ones that I have over on the other window. And then I just still need to get some blinds for these other smaller windows on either side of the bed. I'm going to have to order some custom blinds probably online or maybe I can go in Lowe's just to get the same size as the window. I was very thankful that Jalen could hang up this curtain rod because I do not enjoy hanging up curtain rods. It seems like something always goes wrong or I don't get it hung up straight or something. So these are the blackout curtains that I got and then I also got another pair of the curtains that I already have here in the bedroom. I've got two sets of those hanging at these smaller windows and I wanted whatever curtains I hung up over here at the door to obviously match and be the same type of curtain but I wanted them to be blackout. So what I'm doing here is just trying to clip the blackout curtain along with the regular curtain so that the blackout curtain is behind the regular curtain here and it worked out great except these curtains ended up not being completely blackout like I thought they were I don't know if I ordered the wrong ones or what but they still do filter in quite a bit of light but they work just fine they'll be good enough they block out enough of the light to make it a little bit darker in here so I think they're going to work had to rehang up the curtains over here on the left side and then I'm just going to make the bed, straighten up the room, vacuum the floor, and then we can head out to the living room and do some decorating out there. I finally got my painting for above the fireplace. I also got a new tree for out there, so stay tuned to see all of that.
So this beautiful canvas was sent over by Minted, so a big thank you to them. It was perfect for my mantle up here. I'll have a link for it down below. I got it with the premium walnut wood frame, and it's just so beautiful, such good quality. They have some beautiful art pieces over on their website if you're looking for something like that. They have some that are printed or on canvas like this one. You can get them framed or not framed, but I'll be sure and put the link down below for them. This faux olive tree was sent over by Nearly Natural and all of the trees in my house are from Nearly Natural. I love their faux trees. They look so lifelike and I think I got my first tree from them about four years ago back when we lived in the farmhouse and they're just the only faux trees that I've added to my house ever since because they're so lifelike looking and I love their olive trees that they have over on their website. I'm also getting a taller one for the office but I decided to put this shorter one here in the living room. It's just perfect. I'll be sure and put a link for it down below. So everything else that I added to the mantle, I already had on hand, even the greenery. I swapped out that new greenery that I got for some that I already had on hand. I thought it matched the olive tree a little bit better. And I'm trying out that blanket ladder over there on the right side of the fireplace. When I first put it up, I wasn't quite so sure about it, but now that we've had it up there for like a week, we're really starting to actually like it up there. I think it looks really good, but you can let me know what you think down below in the comments. And a big thank you again to Fetch Rewards for sponsoring this video. Don't forget you can get 3,000 bonus points with my code Hannah, so click that link down below to try them out. And thank you all so much for watching today's video. We will see you in a couple days with a brand new video. Bye!